Hey friends, it's springtime, and you know what that means? That means the spiders are coming back. I am so happy about this. So what I'm showing you here first is, uh, this is a little attached garden shed on our garage. And that's where we've been looking for some time. Because if you go inside the garage and you take a look, it's got this lovely rack of red shells. I have no idea what they're for. Garden pots or something. Anyway, there are these nice, these nice little shells here. And we have not been using them for their intended purpose. But what's cool about them is that all winter long, I've been looking at this. So these are cobwebs on the inside of the shelf. And what's spectacular about them is, you notice all those little gray dots there? And it's on every shelf just about. Those little gray dots are the molts from spiderlings from last summer. So I think this is a hot spot for happy baby spiders. So we're kind of just moving around here. Yeah, just about every single one of these shelves contains a bunch of cobwebs. And those cobwebs are populated with just the molts. So there's no live spiders here. We just know that this is where spiders were breeding last summer. So we'll go to another shelf. You can see there. I know this is the kind of thing you would sweep away if you saw it in your house, but I think it's beautiful. So we've got promising avenues for research here. So let's go into the lab now and take a look at what we found in the garage just the other day. Good news, everybody. This is the first spider of the spring. Well, the first theridiated. See if we can spin around so you're not looking at just its butt. There it is. Look at those handsome striped legs. That plump abdomen. Those fangs. It's a little on the small side, so I think it's a juvenile. And I can't yet sex it. Maybe if I were better at this, I could zoom in on those palps and figure it out. But I'm not good enough. Anyway, this is a good sign. That means the spiders are returning for the spring. Let's zoom in a little. Oh man, isn't that beautiful? Zoom in more. Let's take a close up look. Yeah, that kind of mottled abdomen, the striped legs. You can see the pedipalps there. Uh, I'd be inclined to suggest that this is probably a female, but we'll see. We'll give her time to grow up and start spewing out eggs for us. But this is wonderful. I've been waiting all winter for the Theridiodids to come back. Uh, this one was spotted by my wife in our garage. It was crawling around on some cardboard boxes. And I quickly scooped it up. We're not seeing any other spiders elsewhere. But we've got this one now. Oh, she's wiggling her little jaws. Okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to feed her and then put her in the incubator to grow. We'll see how she does.